In this video, I'm gonna share with you the best way to learn new skills, the fastest way with minimal effort. Let's get into it, okay? Now, step one is research. Now, this step is very important because it can cut down the time that you need to learn the skill. After a bit of research, you'll understand that there are two ways. There's a paid way and there's a free way. Okay, let's just talk about paid way first and get that out of the way. So paid way, I will tell you, is the best way to learn something. And the reason is, paid will tell you everything that you need to know about the skill from A to Z. It'll give you the skeleton. It'll give you an overview, right? And this is the one thing that is missing from free. Because at the end of the day, all the resources and all the information is out there. You just have to get it. And it is the getting to that information that makes all the difference, right? The time. A small example would be, let's say you want to learn anatomy, right? And first day you learn about the sutures of skull. The next day you learn flexor compartment. The next day you learn blood supply of stomach. All these things do come under anatomy, but then they are so unrelated that you have no context, you have no idea if you were to learn this without the context of the whole body. Ultimately, what I don't want you to become is trying to learn something, right? but then you're spending months and maybe years not actually getting the whole of it, right? It's because of having no overview. With that out of the way, let's get on to the meat of this video, which is uh, the free version. For me, the best free resource is YouTube. Number one, YouTube has a ton of content. Number two is that you're seeing the person, right? There's a person behind the screen, an actual person who's trying to teach you something and that gives a human element to this whole process of learning. And you can trust this person who's teaching you. Firstly, take your desired skill, okay? For example, right now I'm learning copywriting. So copywriting, you would type that out into YouTube, just write copywriting, and then that'll give you like a ton of videos about copywriting. Just start watching some videos related to copywriting. And here, what you have to keep in mind is that you are telling YouTube that you want to learn this thing, right? You're asking YouTube that, you know, I want to learn this skin, give me all your resources on copywriting. Every video that comes in your recommendation thereafter, right? You click it, you you know add it to watch later, you share it with someone, you um, comment on it, like, engage with copywriting content. And that will show YouTube that, you know what, this guy actually wants to learn this one thing. And then YouTube will push everything that it has with regards to copywriting. Now here is the best part. Once you start doing this, like you're one week or two week into this process, you will start to see connections. Number one, you will find someone that you like. Someone you think is authentic, someone who you like, right? You kind of vibe with that person and you can tell, you know what, this guy is the real deal. You would have found your gold. You would have found uh, the needle in the haystack. That's one thing. Nextly, you will realize that a lot of people are talking about the same thing, right? One common resource or one of these two common resources just keeps popping up. It's like a godfather kind of thing that all these people are relating to. It might be a book, it might be a person, it might be a website, could be anything. But everyone is just talking about this one thing. That, my friends, is also gold and you have to go through that. And here's the thing, right? Once you have gone about this process, right, you would have spent 20 hours. It's like a debt, you know? You have spent those 20 hours and naturally you will be good at that thing. And at the same time, you would have found that goal, that one person or the one thing that you must go through, that'll give you the best bang for your buck, right? In terms of time commitment. And let me tell you that you have put yourself in the top five percentage for that skill. I'm sure, 100%. I will give you some personal examples that uh, you might be interested in. Number one, business and entrepreneurship, Alex Homosi. The GOAT, right? Productivity, Ali Abdal. In the self-improvement niche, I found Hamza. He's really good. In the fitness niche, we have Jeff Nippard and Athlean X. Also, I said I'm learning copywriting right now. And um, I found a course called Six Figure Promotions, which is an amazing course. And also, I'm reading a book uh, about copywriting. All these things I found out uh, with, with my primitive research techniques. And I found gold. And life has been so good thereafter. One last pro tip that I would like to give you before I end this video is that use books. Right? Books are the best bang for your buck in terms of time investment. Some person has spent decades of his life and also years writing one book that will condense a lot of information right? for you to just read in like five hours, six hours. Please add books into your learning arsenal because it will help you a lot. Why do you think so? Because books give you that skeleton. 
right? The skeleton that I talked about, it'll give you that skeleton. And in that skeleton, you can add things that you've learned from other places, right? I have fell in love with learning since like five years. And, and this process is the condensed version of that, you know, five years of experience. So that's my two cents. Um, I hope you found this video valuable. And please tell me what you would like me to make a video on so that I can research and learn about it and give you like a concise video. So let me know what you would like me to make and I will make it for you and see you in the next video. Peace.